Auto Fanatic. I'm going to do an install video on all the steps I'm going to take to install the, the real carbon fiber Alfa Romeo Giulia grill surround. They make these for the Stelvio and for the Giulia. Um, and depending on who you buy it from, sometimes they include the double stick 3M VHB tape. But I don't really like that install, and I'm going to explain to you why in a couple of minutes. But this is real pre pregged vacuum infused autoclave carbon fiber. That is an overlay that fits over the factory uh, grill. Uh, we're, we got here on the table some long cable ties. I got my 3M dual mix 8223 adhesive. I also have 3M window weld. I have my Sherwin Williams plastic prep, small scuff pads, some acid brushes, gloves. I have a block here with some 220 just in case because these are trimmed out by hand. If you see any kind of irregularities on the ends, you just take the block and you can kind of knock it down and fix it before you do the final install. So we're going to go over to the car, we're going to do a test fit, and then I'm going to walk you through the steps. We're going to knock this out, we're going to clamp it, it's going to be permanently bonded. Now the reason I don't like the VHB tape situation is because you could get a lot of water in here and it could actually cause it to delaminate and just become an issue. Also, if water was to get in between the two layers, between this carbon fiber layer and the factory plastic piece, in the winter it could freeze, this could expand, it could actually crack the carbon fiber pretty easily. So we're going to use the 8223, it's one of my favorite 3M adhesives, it's 68 bucks a tube, but uh, it's, it's just the best because I want to do this permanently, I don't want this to come off, I don't want to have, have any issues over the winter. Now, if you feel that you guys don't want to do this on your own, my best advice, because a lot of this stuff is expensive, you know, some of the glues and, and prep and all, just source out a really good auto body shop. Someone that does work on exotic cars and highline cars, they have all of this stuff in stock. They would most likely charge you one hour of shop labor to do this. And you don't have to get your hands dirty. You don't have to go crazy trying to source out all this expensive glues and, and prep material. So let's get over to the car and we're going to get started for you. All right, guys, we're back. So we're over at the car and this is the factory piece of the grill. And we're going to do a test fit now to see how this is done but this is a pretty good mold this came from Italy and yes you could see you have to force it and push it on because you're overlaying because they made the mold over the original piece they didn't factor in any uh, tolerances so down here it fits in tight and it fits in flush so we don't really have to do any cleanup on the edges I already did that and we look good so I'm gonna get everything over we're gonna start prepping this and uh, we're going to get this thing installed for you guys in a couple of minutes. First order of business, we're going to use our 3M green body shop tape. And we're just going to put some around the perimeter just to prevent if any glue was to get on there and you miss it, you won't cause yourself a, a total headache. And we're going to do both sides. you have just leave it there it's not a huge deal so now we at least have this for the most part protected in case any glue gets in there and drips onto the paint because this is a recess that goes all the way in and is part of the bumper all right guys we're all masked up I got my 3m scotch bright pad the red one here with some of my pre-cleaner and we're just gonna go over this finish just a little bit because we want to make sure that the glue is going to get a permanent bond. And this will also scuff up the surface to give it a little bit of a toot as the two chemicals start to exotherm. And it will lock right into this permanently. And this also would remove any spray sealants and waxes or whatever could be on the car that could cause a reaction with the adhesive. And this factory piece has an aluminum coating on it. And now I took the uh, satin finish and gave it a little bit of a brush finish, but you can see that's the material that's coming off. And we're really going to want to pay attention to this edge here, because that's pretty much where most of the bond is going to happen. And that's probably the most critical as far as not getting water back under the surface. So one other thing that I like to do when I can't get into a recess 
I use my nylon wedge tools. I'm actually going to be selling these in my web store soon just because they're such an indispensable tool to have no matter what you're doing on your cars. So we're going to just take it like this and we're able to get in there all the way around and clean the side that you can't really get your finger in there. And you can see how it works. So we're going to let that, uh, that air dry for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to get set up with the dual mix adhesive cartridge and a new tip. And we're going to get this going and I'm going to show you how I clamp it really quick so it sets up and you don't have to sit there for 20 minutes. And uh, this is going to be a permanent install and I'll show you guys the finished result in a few minutes. So this system, you need new tips always. These are expensive. So always think multiple times before you do it because this becomes a permanent installation. And definitely wear gloves with this glue. So we're just going to inject a bunch on here. And it's black in color, so we'll release the trigger on the gun. Now we're going to move the camera back up for you guys. And then we're going to start applying it. And this is messy, so just take your time. And this particular glue has a somewhat fast work time, so you got to go quick. You can't sit there thinking it's gonna, you're going to wait for the glue to start hardening up, because then you're going to run into a big problem. We'll give it nice, even coverage. like I'm showing you there. And it's already starting to exotherm and get tacky. And that's the beauty of this type of adhesive. It's, it's just like the real deal. This is the stuff that they use in the manufacturing facilities to bond firewalls and body panels these days on a lot of these cars, especially the aluminum cars which are done with this type of adhesive and the self-piercing rivets. And by covering all the surfaces, you're going to guarantee you're not going to get water in there. And that's it. So let me just uh, finish this up and I'll turn the camera back on. We're ready to pop it on. All right, guys, we're back. So here is the grill insert. I'm just going to show you quick. I went in there with the acid brush and some more adhesive, and we got all the dry carbon surfaces prepped and with even coverage. And this is going to guarantee that this becomes a permanent installation. That's why I don't like to use the tape on something like this, especially when it's overlaying over a factory part and you're going to get exposed, like where I am, to multiple seasons. This is just the right way to do it and it's going to guarantee no issues. And it takes you, you know, you'll spend about 35 minutes, you know, doing the full job start to finish. But like I said in the intro, if you don't feel confident to do it, just go to a really good reputable auto body shop that works on Highline cars or even a good custom shop. So now we're all set. Let's get this on there. Nice and easy. And you could feel it as it goes in. You're getting that nice coverage. So let me just move some stuff out of the way. And we're going to use the plastic cable ties to clamp it securely. So I'm going to put some tape on the outside of the carbon just so we don't get any scratching on the clear coat. And you have to clamp this stuff in place because as you can see, it pops out. So we're going to take some cable ties and we're going to loop it through both ends over here. You're going to bend it carefully. And it's a little bit of a pain. So 
is going to take some time, but we have plenty of time. Okay, just like that. And you're going to cinch it down, but don't tighten them down all the way. So you're going to go, we're going to go through the entire perimeter. We're going to clamp it, and then we're going to let it sit. All right, guys, we're almost done clamping it down here at the peak. I'm just going to use the 3M Auto Body Shop tape, and I'm going to stretch it and attach it right to the bottom carbon fiber air dam. So you can see here we got four plastic cable ties securing the grill in place while, it, while the adhesive sets, and this is going to guarantee a nice flush professional finish. So we're going to let this set up for about 60 minutes. We're going to come back. We're going to cut the cable ties off with my Italian USAG scissors, and I'm going to show you the finished result. All right, guys, we're going to unclamp the cable ties like that. tape off. I think it looks great. I even have my Italian scissors for the job, Steve. <laughs> That's it. It's finished. So let me just pull the camera back. I'll give you guys uh, a little bit of a closer view of how it looks. All right, that's the uh, carbon fiber Alfa Romeo grill overlay professionally installed by Auto Fanatic. But if you can't get it done, go find yourself a good body shop and knock it out. But uh, I think aesthetically it looks outstanding and it's probably one of the best upgrades. And being that it matches all the carbon on my car, it was a must have. So stay tuned, there's going to be a lot more carbon and more upgrades on the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. See you later.